What a great crowd. Well, thank you all so much for coming this evening. It's um, more than a special occasion, um, and we have looked forward to it all year long with this wonderful class of 2012. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, it's going to be, I've, I've got all the doors open, I'm sorry. This is about as cool as it's going to get. So, yes, fan, use your programs for fanning, huh? Fan your neighbor. My name is Susie Siki. I am head of faculty at Anacapa, and it's my honor and privilege to be the mistress of ceremonies this evening. Um, we are going to have, we try to get done at eight every year, and somehow it never happens. So I'm just going to warn you that it'll probably be a little after eight before we're done. Also, um, it's going to be fun, though, in the meantime. I promise you, it'll go quickly. Also, I wanted to remind you, if you happen to have a cell phone on you, you might want to put it on um, uh, mute or vibrate or whatever it is that you do to make it not interrupt us. We're going to start off this evening by um, having our president of the board of directors speak, David Gore. David, you're here. I saw you. Yes, here he is. Please welcome David. Well, honored guests, friends of Anna Kappa, staff, faculty, students, friends and family, and particularly Lee Gordon and Susie, thank you very, very, very much for being here this evening and for welcoming me here. I'd like to make sure we do finish at 8 o'clock, so let me not uh, delay us overly much in that respect. I'd like to start off by congratulating, first of all, all of the students here and their parents and grandparents and all those supporters and particularly the class of 2012 for all they've accomplished here during the last 2011-2012 school year. Tonight's ceremony gives us a chance to take a look backwards and also a little look forwards here. Not very many years ago I was in the audience too, sitting as you are right now and awaiting the graduation of my daughter and watching her come through with her ceremonial robes and so on, because I'm an Anacapa dad. Uh, father of Edward, who was here in the lower school 2003 through 2005, and also father of Amanda, who was a six, who spent her seventh through twelfth grade years here, and graduated in 2001 from the Anacapa School. And she, in turn, has recently, together with her husband, produced a grandchild for us, and he's going to be a member of the class of 2027. <laughs> so I'll be happy to be sitting back there in the audience with you at that time. It's been a great year for the Anacapa School, truly across the board. Accomplishments of the students, their parents, the faculty, the staff, and many others have really made for a wonderful impact on the community here at large, far-reaching indeed beyond the boundaries of the school. And I'd like to let you know that the Anacapa Board of Trustees have also been working very, very hard behind the scenes to ensure the school's long-term health. We've been all pulling together. We've been trying to broaden the support for the school, its financial support, and deepen that level of support as well, and make certain that all of our costs don't exceed our revenues. Trying to also make sure that our marketing programs are strengthened so that through many years to come, we'll have very many other mission-appropriate students here at the Anacapa School. And those efforts have been working. They've really been succeeding this year, particularly. The school continues to improve on all fronts. And really, when it comes right down to it, from ANSEC and the arts and music program all the way out to WASC reaccreditation, we have really risen to the occasion. We've really shown and shown what a good example Anacapa School is as far as college preparatory education in this community. We'll always have our challenges in front of us, but we will always know what to do and how to do it well, and knowing that we're doing the right thing 
we're going to make certain that we have provide a high quality education for all of our students here for many years, for many decades to come. This evening in particular, we recognize the accomplishments of our Anacapa seniors, especially, but all of our Anacapa students. We have a, had a chance to, of course, to see how many of them will be rewarded for the work that they have done this year. Particularly for the senior class, as they make their preparations for what comes next, we'd like them to remember what they did derive here during their years at Anacapa, a challenging college preparatory curriculum. The, think, the ability to reason well, to gain objective reasoning and critical thinking skills. The encouragement of strong bonds amongst each other and with their faculty members. And particularly a safe, caring, and supportive environment throughout their years at Anacapa. The senior class knows this already. You just have, will have a chance to reflect on how valuable it is as the years go by. Good luck to you all in all of your future endeavors. Thanks once again, and congratulations to the class of 2012. I'd like to recognize, there. are there any other board members in the audience this evening? I think they all took advantage of this. Um, we didn't have room for them anyway, so just as well they didn't show. <laughs> um, let's see, our next speaker is Gordon Siki, headmaster, and my husband of almost 43 years. <laughs> Wow, what a nice turnout, what a fabulous year, and thank you all for traveling long distances, and everybody in this room is honored, and I'm very much appreciative of your presence here. Um, this is our 31st school year that we've just completed, 31st school year that we've just completed. It's hard to believe. Um, Anacapa is, right now, as David indicated, we're on a roll. It's been a lot of things have been coming together and it just feels great to be progressing with the kind of momentum the school has exhibited this school year. I want to just briefly thank the faculty and I could go on and on about this faculty but um, they know, students know, we know how committed they are, how they work as a team, how wise they are and as the years go by more and more I've been able to turn over key decisions collectively, collaboratively, uh, with the faculty, reaching consensus and making those wise decisions that really come from such a strong group of professionals that have really, across the board, served the school incredibly well. I'd like to thank the Anacapa parents. I know what it takes in terms of sacrifice on your part to provide the tuition, to work hard on those the auction, those events, all the things that you guys do to make this school work. Um, I'm greatly appreciative of all of our parents. And it's a great group to serve. <clears throat> it's an easy group to serve. Uh, and it's just fun to serve you all. And I want to thank you for your role in your, your child's life. Uh, I want to thank the grandparents. Uh, early on as a young headmaster, I learned that private schools in general, and certainly not, Anacapa is no exception, would not be in business if it wasn't for grandparents. There is <clears throat> absolutely no doubt about it that the generosity of the grandparents to support their, their grandchildren and their, so helping them with their tuition, helping them with trips, helping them with whatever it is, donations to the school, all those things, Grandparents really step up, and uh, I want to thank all you grandparents out there for what you've done for your grandchildren. <clears throat> it really means a lot. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank the Anacapa Angels, uh, known and unknown, that behind the scenes are supporting this school in very important ways that uh, goes unseen, really. And they're there, and I want to thank those angels. I also want to thank all of our Breakfast Club speakers, our synthesis unit speakers, some of whom are here, I'm sure, that have spoken to the school. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better in terms of the speakers that come into the school and the information that 
they share, and it just keeps moving. And it's just extraordinary. Uh, we're literally light years ahead of any other school in this department. And I welcome them all to try and catch up. And we'll be moving forward because the amount of energy and intelligence that comes into the school through the Breakfast Club and the synthesis units is really quite extraordinary. Um, which gets me to the students. I want to thank the students for the quality of your questions. Uh, we learned a long time ago, it's important for the teachers to shut up and let the kids ask the questions and just wait until they do. And it's become more and more, you take your turn every once in a while I get a question in, but it's after they've asked them. Uh, you take your turn and the students are, uh, their ability to ask questions, is, it's just been extraordinary. It really has just leaped forward. And there are some very big shoes to fill in this senior class. And uh, the younger kids are practicing and they're moving up and they know it's their turn next year. I also want to thank the students for their extraordinary kindness to each other. Um, they open their hearts to each other. Uh, they support each other. It's a very wonderful community to be a part of. And um, I just love the sound of the students, the sounds that they make. I can turn my back on the students and know that they're doing the right thing. And that means a lot. Um, I want to just mention a few other points uh, before we get started. Um, this year was our 30th year <clears throat> as a school, and to celebrate that, we've done we did 30, <coughs> excuse me, 30 service projects, and we uh, actually exceeded that. And I'll just name just a few to give you an idea of the kinds of things that we we're doing this year, and they really pitched in, and, uh, and certainly some students in particular were there all the time. We helped assemble the moving, uh, the Vietnam Memorial Wall, the moving Vietnam Memorial Wall. We helped assemble that. We didn't just, in years past, I would always take the students there to see it, but this year it was an opportunity to actually assemble it. Uh, we've helped story, uh, storyteller with various cleanup projects, uh, citywide west side cleanup, citywide east side cleanup. <clears throat> we participated in that. We passed out flags at the uh, wonderful Veterans Day Memorial, Veterans Day ceremonies that were held at the Methodist Church um, on November 11th. <clears throat> and we were cabin leaders for, again, three elementary schools. That would be Peabody, Washington, and MUS. And right here in this room are uh, two sixth graders that graduated, one from Peabody and one from MUS, uh, who had our students as cabin leaders and will be Anacapa students next year. So welcome Brooke and welcome, uh, or Hayden, I'm sorry, Hayden and uh, Randy, thank you very much for coming to this. <clears throat> I'd also like to acknowledge the performing arts. Uh, we had two great presentations this year for grassroots. We had the uh, Totally Awesome 80s and for our uh, musical we did this spring was Carnival and that was amazing what went into that and how well it turned out. Uh, I'd like to thank and acknowledge ANSEC. Uh, we did our second year in a row, launched a weather balloon into, into near space. And this time it went from 91,000, we exceeded from 91,000 last year, which was a main, major accomplishment, uh, to 111,000 this year. And this year we added in video, which is on our website, so you can actually see the whole thing, the curvature of the earth. It, uh, the camera shut down at 70,000 feet for various reasons, so next year we're going to learn from that and uh, hope that it can go all the way up. And we're also going to try and stream it, uh, video uh, live so people that aren't with us on these missions uh, can actually see it as it goes up. It was just a very proud day for Anacapa. This was the year for our reaccreditation with the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. We do that every six years if we're good, and uh, I believe we are good, and I believe we'll not be doing it in this way again for uh, another six years, but we won't know the results of that until this summer when the Accrediting Commission reviews everything. But I think we did very well, and I want to give special thanks to Peggy Lauer for really uh, working very, very hard on that. That was uh, lifting that up. Peggy was a very muscular event, and it was a two-year event, so thank you very much, Peggy. <laughs> Thank you.
We had some great trips this year, the Tuolumne Meadows trip, um, and we again climbed Clouds Rest, and uh, it seems that we can only go to the Sierras in the summer and get thoroughly rained upon, and uh, even if we start them earlier and earlier, we seem to always find the rain, and it was no exception this time. And, um, but everybody made it once again to the top, and that's a very major hike, and uh, it was really, everybody pulled together in the rain in a, in a, in a way that um, made me up very proud. Um, we just had a great trip to Sacramento, and I want to mention something about that, but also to let you know there will be another Anacapa trip to Europe, to Italy this summer. It will be our seventh, um, and um, looking forward to having 16 students including three alumni that will be joining that trip this summer. The Sacramento trip was a blockbuster trip. It was just amazing. Uh, we were able to combine uh, two synthesis units, at least, uh, the two most recent units, and do things we've never done that I've always wanted to do, which is to get these Santa Barbara kids into the Central Valley and see what this state is really made of and a part of America that many of our families and students never really see. The, the agriculture following up on the food unit. Um, and Marty, thank you for helping with that. That was awesome what you did for the school. Um, <clears throat> the food unit was, was a very, it was our most rec recent synthesis unit. Uh, and thanks to Anna Kappa mom, Vilja Hoppe, and her connections in California agriculture, who she really deserves the credit for these field trips, I would never have been able to, have, uh, well, maybe, but it would have been very difficult to make the kind of connections she, she made. We, on our trip, we looked at the California water, water delivery systems, the California aqueduct, all of the uh, mechanical aspects of moving water from the north to the south. We visited a, a working dairy, an all, a working almond farm, the largest uh, museum of uh, antique tractors in the world in Sacramento, uh, also a truck museum. Uh, Strelich would have liked that. Um, uh, <coughs> rice farm, we saw a rice farm, uh, which was my, one of my big dreams, to see a rice farm. We also were hosted by PG&E and the Yolo County Farm Bureau. I didn't realize the meaning of YOLO for the kids, so they were just loved the word YOLO. I'm sorry, I was behind the times. <laughs> you only live once. Um, <laughs> they were, you know, I, I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes. Um, anyway, the YOLO County Farm Bureau and the um, PG&E hosted a dinner for us and we heard from farmers that are involved in tomato hybrids, pesticide management, uh, all kinds of different farmers and, and we also heard from the local water district and how they get water uh, to Yolo County. Um, we also visited an apple and pear farm and we went to the largest cheese manufacturer in the United States in Hillmar, California, Hillmar Cheese. That was all associated with the uh, food unit. Last year's budget unit, which was also a blockbuster, uh, <clears throat> we were able to get a meeting with the uh, Deputy Director of Finance. We were hoping to meet with Ana Mata Santos, but Governor Brown pulled her in, and she uh, uh, couldn't meet with us, but she sent an, um, her second-in-command amazing brain, H.D. Palmer, and he had our booklet that Peggy helped pull together and the students did last year. He had it in his hand, along with the May, a box of May, the May revision, uh, and, he's, and with June 15th deadline coming up, very, very important time of the state. We have to get this right, people. We cannot be going broke in California. It just doesn't make any sense. And um, he was able to actually go through and explain all the different aspects of the budget challenges the school is having, or the school, not school, the state is having. He did, don't worry. Um, uh, but he took a look at the school's uh, budget booklet that we did last year, and he looked at that. He said, Gordon, this is at a college level. Uh, with the mayor of Santa Barbara, when she came to speak, she read it and she said, Gordon, your kids are doing their homework. That is an amazing booklet and made it all the way up to the finance department of the state of California. Now, for fun, we went river rafting uh, for a whole day, 21 miles on the south fork of the, of the American River. 
And uh, it was just a kick. Eight boats, eight rafts, and just a lot of happy kids getting challenged to the max. And uh, that was just super fun. So it wasn't all brainy stuff, but this trip had a lot of really brainy stuff. Uh, what I want to leave you with is, is something that I realized after taking the kids all around to these places, that a lot of them were family farms, sixth generation, fourth generation, grandparents, people taking their time to talk to our students and connect them up with what they do and bring them into the community. Uh, and I realized that what this school is doing, really, is turning our students into stakeholders, that they have a stake in the society, that they can do their part to improve things. And that's what they do every day. You're going to get the chance to see all of our students up here in, at different times during this event. I'm very, very proud of them. So let it roll. We're going to get to the first of our awards now. And the Jessica Bauer Award um, is given to a student volunteer of the year. We um, are very proud at Anna Kappa that we don't have a mandatory hour requirement or service hours um, for volunteer activities. But we encourage it and we give them lots of opportunities and to um, actually get involved in the community. And, and then it starts to just be part of them. Well, the student that's receiving the award this year um, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. But I'll have to just share a couple things. Of the 30 plus projects that we um, did this year, this student was involved in 17 of those 30. Okay, so already then the student is super involved in that. Um, the student also did the sixth grade camp, which is a, um, a big deal, as we know, because the student has to miss um, regular classes, but the student also um, does, I'm, I didn't want to give it away too soon, but I'm afraid I'm just going, it's going to ha just happen. So the student is also involved outside of school in church choir three days a week. The student also worked at camp in the summertime, two weeks last summer, two weeks this summer. And if you enjoyed the decorations at the auction this year, it was she. It was she who put them together. She who did it. So Brenda, Jessica Bauer, Ford, here. I know. So I just have to explain that, um, you know, we try to spread the awards around a little bit, and she, she got this award last year, but there's nobody that even came close, so there just wasn't a choice, and besides, she really deserved it. She sets the bar for everybody, so congratulations, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> In between these awards, I'd like to recognize a few different distinct groups. So I wonder if I could have parents of Anacapa students stand up for a second here so we could uh, recognize them. Parents of Anacapa students. Yeah. It's wonderful to be working with all of you. Um, Next are honor roll certificates. And you know, at Anacapa, we, um, we don't give away grades <laughs> at all. And the students really have to earn them, and they work hard. And so all of this uh, means that our three levels of honor roll are particularly meaningful. Um, and aside is that 
it becomes the culture of the students to work really hard on their academics. And so you're going to see a lot of students up here. And you'll think, maybe they do give away grades, but I swear we don't at all. The students are just really work really hard, and we're so proud of them. So let's start with cum laude. That's, uh, they've earned a 3.0 to 3.49. By the way, this is a surprise. All the students, the teachers have been completely mum about their final grades, about where they were. So um, this is going to be a complete surprise. Got it. Here's my envelope. So if we could have all the students come up, and it works best if we try and not um, do the applause until the end, but I know that's really hard. So just try, just try. Okay, so we're gonna start with Julio, Julio Bernal, August Hendricks, <clears throat> Hazel Brady, Alex Carlson, Isabella Cibelli Dutura, Chris Eckert, Hannah Erickson, Odalis Gonzalez, Excuse me, Brenda Gutierrez again, <laughs> Jen Hatfield, Emily Johnson, Isaac Macario, Heather McHugh, Allie Powell, Grace Strelich, Kiara Trujillo, Diego Villarreal, and Haley Yuhas. Yay! <laughs> Gordon shows it. <laughs> Can you cozy up here? To... <laughs> All right. Did you get a picture of him? Yeah? You already got it? Okay. Look at him. Smart. Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right, go away. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. All right, girl. The next level of Honor roll at Anna Kappa is the magna cum laude. It's a, they've earned a 3.5 to a 3.99 grade point average. Oh my gosh, it's a really fat envelope. I'll say I'm really fast. Okay, we'll try this again. Patrick Alcero, Emilia Artuzio, Grayson Bagellini, Sophie Crane, Megan Eckert, Nicole Francia, Zinia Gonzalez, Cassidy Hessian, Raymond Johnson, Timothy Johnson, Lottie Johnston, Laura Castruba, Ezai Macario, Matthew Nunez, Clayton Parker, Karina Roberts, Isla Rutten, Shana Smith, Ethan Steiner, and Douglas Troop. Gordon's relishing handing them out. Yeah. Very smart. Turn here, turn here and look at, can you guys look at Levi? All right. <laughs> I 
at Anacapa, we have honors classes, AP classes. Our students go off to City College and take classes, which means that they could have their um, GPAs above 4.0, but we cap it at 4.0. These students have earned a perfect 4.0. Elena Alcero, Ayana Kazabat, Della Hatfield, Ghazal Homayuni, Sam Robertson, and Ashley Woodstrup. Sam, you're looking, you've got a nice crowd of ladies around you, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. You want me to do it? I guess, yeah. Hi. We are going to, um, what I'd like to do right now, just before we get on to the Academic Achievement Awards, teachers get ready, you're gonna come up here in just a second, is to have grandparents stand up or wave your hands. All the grandparents that are in the crowd, could you please be recognized, yes. Our oldest, our oldest grandson is only five, but um, we're going to have to organize when he graduates because I'm going to have to be there. So we'll see. Okay. I guess that, ooh, gosh, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, they'll be wheeling me up here, right? <laughs> okay. Um, our next, uh, next is we have the Academic Achievement Awards. Each one of the teachers are able to give a special award to a student in their academic field. So if we could have, you'll get a chance to see all our fabulous teachers. So I'm going to have them come up here right now. Yay. Hi, I'm Levi Maya. I had the privilege to be the faculty advisor for the second year to the Anacapa Near Space Exploration Club. And Gordon told you a little bit about what AHAB 2 or Anacapa Amateur High Altitude Balloon 2 was all about. But I want to tell you about one of the students in particular who worked on this project who um, I'd like to recognize this evening. It's so difficult to not reveal who it is. <laughs> this student, um, it's his, his second year. I'm just going to dive right into it here. It's his second year in the project. And he chose to challenge himself um, and take the project to the next level. Um, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again here tonight. Um, this student was someone who aspired to work um, with electronics and on electronics on a very um, uh, at a very technical level, but had never done so before. And he decided that for this project, he was going to build a Geiger counter from, almost from scratch. We got a bag of parts in the mail, and he put the thing together, having never touched a soldering iron before. We worked with the engineer who designed the kit, um, and he complimented Julio Bernal on his... Uh, on his expertise. Come on up, Julio.
I know where it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my second award is for the Digital Voyage class. Digital Voyage is a media studio here at Anacapa. And uh, students in the class work with digital filmmaking, uh, digital video making, um, and digital storytelling. This year's class, um, I had uh, excellent students who also took the challenge to the next level and really, uh, really did some impressive things at a college level, at a professional level in some cases. This student in particular was someone who came to me again who wanted to challenge themselves. And that's a theme this year, I guess, with some of my students. They came to me and wanted to challenge themselves. This student said to me, um, I wanted to face the enemy head on. <laughs> and the enemy, in this case, being computers. He said that computers are always hassling him, and he wanted to learn how to tame them so he could use them when he goes to college. So I would like to recognize Douglas Troop. Douglas's work on the Occupy Santa Barbara movement was exemplary. Thanks, Doug. Hey. My students over there. Um, my name is John Luca, and I've had the good fortune of being able to teach geometry for half of the year, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Good group, and it was pretty hard to pick one student uh, to give the award to. Uh, but you're only allowed to pick one. I'd like to give the award to the whole class, to tell you the truth, and I mean that. They uh, really worked well together. I don't know if any of you remember high school geometry or care to, but... <laughs> For some of you, it might have been a little traumatic, and so it's not an easy class, and I'm not a particularly easy teacher, uh, and the students really stepped up to the challenge. They all did, every, every one of them. But again, I have to pick one, so I did. I picked someone whose grades were consistently high, whose attitude was good, who worked well with other students, who was a contribution to the class. So this year's Geometry Achievement Award goes to Sam Robertson. Hi there, my name is Paula Campanelli, and um, I have the best class of all. I teach ceramics, and wow. we have a lot of fun in ceramics. I think I've had most of the graduating class, except for a few. They're either surfing or playing the horn, <laughs> avoiding me. Um, but I, I just love my class, and I, and I enjoy all the kids in it too. So when I think about the achievement ward, the academic achievement ward, um, I just sort of think about my purposes that I, what do I want to teach the children, the kids, the young adults. I want to teach them the basics of good craftsmanship so they construct their work well and they have successful pieces. I also want them to develop their imagination so that they can make expressive and meaningful pieces too. But most importantly, I want to teach them patience because like life, ceramics, um, has many steps to follow. And it sometimes doesn't turn out the way you want, and it doesn't always go the way you want it to go. But if you, the kids keep going forward, best step forward always, and um, like learning, you know, they'll progress and they'll get on well. Um, this is exactly what my student who's receiving the award is like. She puts her best foot forward and she gets great results, including getting best of show for the um, Santa Barbara Fair and Expo 
ceramic award. And um, not only is she a talented artist and incredibly smart, she is sweet and she is kind and she is helpful and she's an inspiration to all of the other students. I've had her all year last year and I hope to have her again next year, Ms. Zinnia Gonzalez. I'm Sally Eve, I'm the performing arts teacher. And before I give my award, I just want to say something to my class and thank them for an incredible job this year. They worked really hard on a very difficult play. Um, they had to not only sing and act and dance, but they had to do circus acts on top of that. And um, it was stressful and not always fun this time around. But in the end, they did a great job and I'm just really proud of all of you, so thank you. Now, when I give this award, you're gonna know right away who I'm talking about, some of you. Anna Kappa is a small school. So when you're in performing arts, you're pretty much guaranteed a role. It's not like a big school where you have to audition. We need you, be in performing arts, you get on stage. That's the good thing. The more difficult thing is you can't miss. You can't not be there, you can't not do the show, because we don't have anybody to take your place. We have no backup. So everybody has to be there. So this person I'm giving the award to not only learned their lines very quickly, learned all their songs, learned all the blocking, came to class with a great attitude, and came to class with a great enthusiasm for the production, which is contagious, and I love that, because when she was enthusiastic, everybody else in the class would get enthusiastic, and then made my job a lot easier, and I love it. Now I'm gonna give it away. Um, this student had the misfortune of getting really sick the day of the performance. Had to come in for a rehearsal, um, didn't want to, but had to, because she had a big role and had to be there. And you know how you can tell in a kid's eyes when they're really sick? She was sick. She couldn't talk. She couldn't sing. But she came. She went through the rehearsal. We went home. I went home and thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> what are we going to do? Do I cancel it? I have no idea what to do in a situation like this. What if she can't come back? Unbeknownst to me, my class had it all figured out. They figured out who was going to go on, who was going to take whose part, who would switch around, and they had it all squared away. But she did come. She did a great job. Nobody knew she was sick. So this award's going to Lottie Johnston for a great job. <laughs> and for knowing that the show must go on. and I'm the science and yearbook teacher here and the first award I'm going to give is for achievement in yearbook um, and I asked to give this award because my crew really works so so hard to produce a quality yearbook they come in before class starts they stay after class ends um, and they really they are the reason that we have a good yearbook and this person above and beyond is there until the very end um, and it's really her meticulous eye and she wants the yearbook to be perfect. In the last two years, um, she's been a big reason why it's been as good as it has been, and that is Miss Sophie Crane. Um, and the second one is for achievement in chemistry. And there's a couple people who could deserve this award. It's very hard to choose, as people have said. Um, but ultimately, this student has one of the highest overall grades in the class. They definitely got the brains. Um, but in addition, they also have 
the persistence and the determination that make the difference between a really good scientist and a great scientist. Um, and they do it all without ever whining, which makes our job a lot easier. Um, so this year's award for chemistry goes to Isai. Hi, oops. I'm Hugo Macario, I'm the Spanish and music teacher. So I have two awards tonight. And um, I'll start with Spanish. This student is um, always, he's curious. He always asks how to say things. He always does his work. And uh, he's a fun guy to work with. And, uh, um, well, I don't want to say anything more, but <laughs> Sam Robertson. <laughs> and in music, you know, it's really hard to pick one person because we have a whole band and everyone collaborates, everyone has his own little thing to apport to the group. And, but uh, definitely the rhythm section is what, is what makes the soul of the band, is what makes the sound of the band and uh, the spirit of it. And this time I have chosen somebody that uh, is quiet, but is always there keeping that, uh, that rhythm section always on time, always playing the right thing. And uh, it's SIE. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give the uh, award for excellence in literature. Um, it's one of the easy ways to make decisions about an award like this is to look at the grade book and see uh, the highest average in the class or um, that all the work was turned in on time or that uh, the corrections to the essays were always done. Um, but I think it entails a um, little bit more than uh, an adding up of numbers and making a judgment like this. Um, the young man um, I'm going to give this award to today is a man, young man who understands and looks for the deeper meanings in what he's reading and makes connections between what he's reading and what he's observing in the world around him. I'm not sure whether literature is his top passion because he has several. Um, he's a Renaissance man involved in many things and, in, and enjoying every opportunity he can get. Um, the Award for Excellence in Literature goes to Patrick Alcero. Brian Anderson, and I get to give uh, two awards tonight. Um, I've had this student in math um, for about five years, and I've seen her grow um, from a 12-year-old. And um, you know, she's she's already up on stage, so we might want to try to figure out who that is. Um, but Zinya does such a great job, and she works so hard that I didn't even think twice about giving it to anybody else. So.
And then for engineering this year, um, I should have collaborated with Seth a little bit on this, but I think he'd agree with me on this. Um, this student, if, we, if Seth and I want something done perfectly, I usually just give it to Seth to do. Because um, I, I could maybe do it, but I know he could do it for sure. But um, this guy, he's neck and neck with Seth on doing welds and doing things the right way. And um, he's a first, first year student this year, and uh, I see him you know, going way beyond just high school with this. So Francis, come on up here. Good evening. Uh, I'm Rashid, and I teach that nasty calculus class. <laughs> I will quote uh, the famed aviator uh, Emilia Earnhardt by saying, "Everybody has an ocean to cross, as long as the heart have the heart to do it." Is that risky? Maybe, but. What do dream have of boundaries? So in this dream class, I'll give the biggest dream of the dreamer of the class, the calculus prize. Gazal. Misplaced my paper. Oh no, here it is. Okay, um, I get to teach Italian and studio and art at Anacapa. The Italian award this year goes to a student who is amazingly dedicated, has a nearly perfect work record. Perfect would be a little outrageous. And test record um, has shown considerable growth. Is not the loudest student in the classes, but um, always whenever I look up. This person has their eyes glued on mine. They're working for it. Quietly moving forward. Um, complimenti to Gracie. Brava. For studio art, I chose a student who has natural talent. Now, that makes it a little bit easier, I know, but um, you also need to have a lot of effort. And this student put consistent effort, was willing to try. And um, being willing to try means you get to hone and augment that talent. The sketchbooks um, that the student produced, I hope that she leaves one of them behind because um, I'm going to sell it when she's famous. And, um, <laughs> yeah. and um, last hint, I took her chair this evening to sit on. Nicole. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Gordon, the history teacher at this point. And um, for the alumni in the, in the crowd here, uh, almost just about every uh, June into the uh, second semester, the final is an oral presentation as opposed to a blue book, which is usually the first semester. And um, the award always goes to the student who did the best job uh, overall on the Roman criteria, Roman oratorical criteria that I use to evaluate their presentations. 
And um, we've had some really good ones over the years, really, really good ones over the years. Um, this one, uh, this year, we, the topic was world religions. We finished our world history one going into world religion, a whole quarter, which is a unique um, aspect of the textbook that we use. And uh, I changed it from four years ago um, to instead of a particular figure like Buddha or St. Francis or um, to actually a world religion so that they could present in five minutes a succinct, concise explanation of a particular world religion. And I had a lot of options and they, it was a draft. They got to choose when their number came up. And one, one religion I've never understood very much about and this person was able to explain it in ways that were very interesting and made me want to learn more. Um, and um, I should say that, announce to everybody here, that next year's synthesis unit, uh, I've decided to, and the faculty has concurred, we're going to do world religion. We're going to do religion next year, which is a unit I haven't done in uh, probably over 10 years. So um, it just, I saw how interested the students were and how much it has to do with the meaning of life to look at different religions. And one religion I absolutely had very little knowledge of is one that comes from Persia, Zoroastrianism. And Sam, you did it, you nailed it. Good job. You like it. Good work, you guys. Good job. Oh, wait. So, um, I'd like to, we're going to get a picture here of all the faculty. We never, we, we work hard and we don't often look this presentable. So, <laughs> I thought it'd be a great time to get a picture of all of us together. So. We're working on that. And um, in the meantime, though, could I have all the alums and alum teachers that are in the audience stand up and we'll give them a round of applause? There's a bunch of them here. Stand up, you guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to have you here. There were actually more out there. Sometimes they just don't stand up. They kind of hide after they graduate sometimes, but they're here. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear it for Levi's fiance, Daniela. They're going to get married at Labor Day. Yeah. <laughs> The next award this evening is going to be for Parent Outstanding Service Award. And the parent that we've chosen this evening, if you are in the school, if you're a parent or family in the school, you've already met her, guaranteed. She volunteers for everything. You will find her signing um, everybody up for different events. You will see her as an open house parent represent, representative. And if you were brought into the school recently, you probably um, talked to her outside of the school because she's consistently supporting Anna Kappa in the community. She works on mailings. She bakes. She's worked in the auction in many, many, many areas. This year, she just about single-handedly um, handled the refreshments at the concert and art show. Since one of her sons is one of her children is a senior next year, we are really, really fortunate that she also has a student who will be an eighth grader next year. So we aren't losing this fabulous, fabulous Julia Alcero. The, the award says in 
It's um, Julia Alcera has been awarded this honor and grateful recognition of her support and devotion to our school and its students. Thank you, Julia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Um, we are going to do seniors with seniority. This isn't a surprise. Because um, the way you get on this plaque, it's almost full, we're going to have to get a second one, is you need to start as a seventh grader and go all the way through. So they already know who they are, but we're going to get a chance to see them. These wonderful, wonderful students that we've had an opportunity to work with for six years. Hannah Erickson, Brenda Gutierrez, Colin Lancashire, and Haley Uhaz. Yeah, Spirit of Anacapa. So these guys were little guys when we got them. I promise you, they were little guys. And now they're going off into the world. Well, their first trip was Tuolumne Meadows as seventh graders, and they climbed to the top of uh, Cloud's Rest, and I'll never forget Brenda with your little suit on that you, that was, the, <laughs> all, green, all, green. All, all green little, what, I don't know, jumpsuit or whatever that was, <laughs> <laughs> Colin helping me load the Yukon, all you guys participating, so thank you, it's been a great ride. Thank you, John. All right, so this is a great opportunity to recognize individuals in the Anacapa community who have exhibited the spirit of Anacapa. And what that really means is embodies the core values of the school. Um, and some, just a few to mention, kindness, kindness to others, a very strong work ethic, integrity, creativity, fun to be around, and a good critical thinker. Those are come to mind very quickly. Our first spirit of Anacapa, I just want to read some of the comments that I pulled out of the student's file when I was working on senior letters back in December. And I went through all the files, I go through all the files for the seniors and look at every report card and every piece of work that actually goes all the way back to their admission to the school and pull out key phrases that teachers have said and then I try to include them in my sort of overall letter. So these are just comments that came in from teachers from report cards. Works very hard and asks all the right questions. Always prepared welcomes and enjoys new challenges, always volunteers with admission-related events, critical reading skills are exceptional, believes in his endeavors and works harder than his peers, exceptionally good memory for names and details, scientific thinker, does extra credit even when he doesn't need to, Consistently punctual, positive, and willing to put the project success ahead of any need for recognition. And that was when the student was working on the yearbook a few years ago. Exceptional cabin leader. And an exceptional teaching assistant in history. An overall uh, absolutely amazing young man. Um, I am so proud to be his headmaster. Douglas Troop. Wait, wait, stay here. Yeah. 
All right, our other Spirit of Anna Kappa award is going to go to somebody that could and should have received it years ago. Uh, an exceptional person within the school, our wonderful math teacher, Brian Anderson. He always has time for tutoring students after school. He started the engineering program with Seth Hatfield, our wonderful dad, who's opened up his shop to the school. And uh, thank you, Seth, for that. You and Brian did, have done just an amazing, amazing job together. Uh, when I asked him to go off to a UC conference and how we could innovate a math finance class because of his background in banking and finance, he went and we have the only UC approved class uh, at all, period, in Algebra II finance. And uh, that took time over the summer. He's a dad that took sacrifice to do that. He always has the greatest attitude, super fun on trips, supportive of faculty, teachers, me, and the entire Anacapa community. It's an honor to have Brian Anderson in our community. We are moving along to the good stuff right now, and that means that the seniors need to go and get their gowns on. Who's, who's running the slideshow? Did we ever figure that out? <laughs> Levi, are you running it? No? Carlson, you got it? Carlson can't do it. He has to go get changed. Huh? Ugo, are you running the slideshow? I know. This sound, doesn't sound like we know what we're doing. Here, Ugo. Please do it. Yeah. There's a seat for you right there. Um, so we're first going to have a slideshow of the trip that we just took to Sacramento. And then we're going to finish it off with a um, senior. You get a chance to see the seniors. And then we will um, begin. You'll get to see them. They'll all be up here on stage. And we will um, begin the presentation of diplomas. So hang on there.
No, I know that I'm not all that you got. I guess that I, I just thought maybe we could find new ways to fall apart. But our friends are back, so let's raise a tear. Cause I found someone to carry me home tonight. Oh, we are young. So I'm
You're the getaway car, you're the light in the sand When I go too far, you're the swimming pool on a August day And you're the perfect thing to say And you play it cool, but it's kind of cute Oh, When you smile at me, you know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times You, it's you You make me sing your every line Your every word, your everything You're a carousel you're a wishing well, and you light me up when you ring my bell. You're a mystery, you're from outer space. You're every minute, my every day. And I can't believe that I'm your man. And I get to kiss you, baby, just because I can. Whatever comes our way, I will see it through. And you know that's what our love can do. And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing Your every line Your every word Your everything
to welcome the class of 2012. Yeah, I don't want to
shake it like a pony. Now all Beyonce's and Lucy Lou's shake it, shake it, baby doll. Shake it on the floor. Okay, I'll be short and sweet because our, at Anacapa School, our seniors speak for themselves. Every single one of them are valedictorians as far as I'm concerned, and they get, we get to hear from every one of them. Um, I just want to say that this has been an extraordinary class, um, and I may truly mean that. They've uh, just been there all the way through for the school in so many different ways, and um, They've got huge shoes to fill, which I know will be filled. It's always hard to imagine it's possible. Um, there's been a lot of growth, really a lot of growth. And um, I think you guys know how proud I am of the growth that you've made and the contributions you've made to the school. And I wish you all the best and all the love and all the success in your great lives ahead. So we're going to start right now with Alex Carlson. Thank you very much. Um, do I have a speech in here somewhere? Supposedly in one of oh, the I'm folders. Sorry. Oh, yeah. You don't have it memorized? No, <laughs> no. Slip, slip my mind. Okay. Uh, do you recognize it? Uh, it should have my name at the top. <laughs> There we there go. There it is. Thanks. So Thank you. You go. All right. Going first. Um, <laughs> Warm up the audience. Uh, so I came to Anacapa halfway through ninth grade. And the year before, I had moved across the country from Connecticut, leaving all of my friends and some of my family behind to come to Santa Barbara. Initially, I went to a school that was not a great fit for me. I didn't get along well with my classmates, and I felt out of place. I was unhappy and looking to change schools when my guitar teacher at the time told me that, I, that he had known Gordon as a child and that I should look at his school. In retrospect, that was some of the best advice I'd ever received. After meeting Gordon and many of the students here tonight, I immediately knew that Anna Kappa was the right fit for me. Looking back on my earliest high school days, it's easy to see why. Honestly, I was a pretty weird freshman. I loved computers, taking them apart, programming them, and sometimes putting them back together. Um, and I had interests that nobody else really seemed to share. Uh, I devoted uh, so much time to working on my own projects that I alienated myself from a lot of my peers. Coming to Anna Kappa, I expected this to continue, but I was wrong. The warmth of my classmates and teachers prevented me from escaping the strong sense of community that Anna Kappa had established. Instead of ridiculing me for my interests, people made an effort to get involved, asking me questions and offering to collaborate on projects. While people may not have understood where I was coming from, they made an effort to. Three and a half years later, and I've come, to long, come a long way, I've learned to balance my personal and academic goals, be a team player, and to really be part of a great community. Though Anacapa is a small school, I found outlets for all of my skills and interests, from working on this year's high altitude balloon, Ahab 2, which as said earlier, crushed the previous record by over 20,000 feet, to playing on the soccer team, something I never would have thought possible. Don't let the photo fool you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been able to help give back to the community. <laughs> Sorry. I've been able to help give back to the community by participating in Anacapa's 30th anniversary service projects, and I performed a play at Center Stage Theater. Anacapa has encouraged me to push myself to my limits, to reach out to all those around me, and to never stop trying new things. The school played a large part in making me who I am today, and for that, I'm incredibly grateful. For this reason, I'd like to offer my deepest thanks to the faculty, staff, and fellow students of the Anacapa School. I'd also like to specifically thank Gordon and Susie for the tough love, <laughs> Peggy for the support, and Levi for being one of my closest friends and mentors. To my parents, though you already know this, I really could not be here today without you. <laughs> Mom, you've made sure I've had everything I needed, assisted in every dumb project I've ever tried with unrelenting vigor, and never stopped believing in me. Thank you. <laughs> Dad, you've balanced this out as our family's pragmatist. 
You keep my feet on the ground and my head out of the clouds while still being supportive and encouraging so that I can be a functional human being. I don't know how you pull it off, but I, I appreciate it all the same. I love you both and can rest easy knowing that you'll always have my back. As I excitedly look forward to college and the new experiences that await me there, I can't help but feel sad closing my, the book on my Anna Kappa career. Sorry. Thanks for the good times, the bad, and everything in between. It's been great. Emily Johnson. My first experience at Anna Kappa, oh wait, hold on. My first experience at Anna Kappa was a student-led tour in the summer. Before eighth grade, I remember being escorted through campus by three of the most upbeat and wonderful students. Haley had been one of them. After that tour, I was almost as attached to Anna Kappa as I am now. Throughout the years, I've been able to grow as an individual, both academically and socially. People say teachers can make all the difference in a student's education, and they're definitely correct. At Anna Kappa, the teachers love the subjects they teach, and in return, that makes students want to submerge themselves in the courses. I have made personal and significant, long-lasting connections with my teachers and classmates that, I would never, that would never be damaged with the disruption of time. I know you will all continue to thrive in whatever career path you aspire to be in. I'd like to thank Gordon and Susie who have taken all the excellent qualities of a school and jam-packed them into their small campus. I'd like to thank the wonderful faculty and staff who have allowed me to access my creative spirit and exercise my critical thinking. I appreciate my class. I couldn't have asked to graduate with a more bonded group of wonderful individuals. Thank you for all the positive support and amazing friendships we formed that'll last a lifetime. And lastly, I'd like to thank my family. Grandpa, thank you for always being supportive of my decisions. I appreciate it when you call me on the phone early in the morning just to tell me you love me and then proceed to inform me of your cat's full being. <laughs> Thank you for being there every step of the way. And who would I be if I forgot to mention the two people who helped me obtain and achieve my high school education? Mom and Dad, thank you for investing your time and money into my education and future. I know there were times when it was difficult and stressful, but you knew it was worth the end result. I feel privileged to have attended the Anna Kappa School for as long as I have, and I thank you for listening. Karina Roberts. Congratulations, Karina. Are you getting your own speech? She's, she's prepared. <laughs> Let's see. First off, Mom, I hope you won't need too many tissues tonight. <laughs> The other day, I was riding back to school with surf class, and I got out my phone to text my mom. I was about to type out, Mom, I'm home. That is what Anna Kappa is like for me. I can be myself here and not worry. Everyone at this school is exceedingly friendly. You all make me happy to come to school with, your cheerf with how cheerful you are. Some people think I am constantly happy, but that is because you, don't guys, you guys don't give me a reason to be in a bad mood. That is what I love about Anna Kappa. For example, recently I have I had been having a really stressful morning. By the time I arrived at school, I just couldn't hold it in any longer, and I ran into the bathroom and burst into tears. Kiara was in there, and I was thinking, I'm so sorry she has to hear all of this. But she was so sweet to me and said, oh, Karina, you're never sad, and asked what was wrong. Then she stayed in there to cheer me up, and sure enough, it worked, and I was able to recover and walk into breakfast club. Things like this really show who we are at Anna Kappa. Because we are such a small school, we feed off of each other's good nature. This school has taught me who I am and who I want to be. I've grown so much in the past four years, I can hardly believe it. I remember clearly my freshman year when I felt like the shyest kid in school, hardly talking to anyone. Somewhere along the line, I opened my eyes and realized there was nothing to be afraid of and I never looked back. Now I feel like all of you are my close friends. 
The incredible trips that Anna Kappa has are one of the offerings that attracted me to this school. A particularly memorable trip for me was our journey to Death Valley. We spent our days and nights trying to survive 60 mile per hour winds with dust blowing in our faces in every crevice. It was crazy. Most of our tents blew down and we all had to sleep on the bus except for the brave adventurers. Even though we faced one of our hardest challenges on this trip, it only brought us closer together and showed us how we as a school community could overcome our obstacles and stay optimistic. That is what made this trip a favorite for me because we managed to turn it into a great experience. What I will miss most, however, are all the unique and wonderful seniors with whom I am graduating today. All along, we have been a very strong class. This year, we've grown, we've grown especially close. There is something about senior year and leading the school that really bring a class together. But the thing with our class is, even when we are attempting to make plans to have senior bonding time, which rarely follow through, <laughs> we are bonding. Well, we may have arguments, it never takes much for us to have a great time. I love each and every one of you so much, and I couldn't have wished for a better class to be graduating with. All of you have your little quirks, and I'm going to miss you guys so much. <laughs> I feel honored to be graduating with all of you. I really have the best of friends here, and I can't thank all of you guys enough. To my family and friends, mom, dad, Linda, Rhea, grandma, and everyone else who could make it here for me tonight, I'm so glad you all could come. I'd like to thank you for your help and support throughout the years. It is greatly appreciated, and I'm so glad to have all of you in my life. I would especially like to thank my grandpa for always wanting to do everything you can to help me out. Without you, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to fantastic schools. A huge thank you to Peggy for not only being a wonderful advisor, but for helping me out so much with my college application process, along with dealing with all my last minute college scholarship essays. <laughs> Sharon, too, for all your help, especially this last year, and for encouraging me to apply for many scholarships I never thought I would have had a chance with. Grayson, I can't thank you enough. You have helped me get through a very tough year while letting me be my complete self around you and loving me uh, more than anyone possibly ever could. I love you so much. And Gazal, you've been my buddy <laughs> and a true friend ever since I was five. And you have always been by my side since then. Thank you for your support throughout my life and for your endless supply of great advice. <laughs> I've had the privilege of being with the most supportive and encouraging group of people here at Anna Kappa. And Many, uh, many wonderful influences the school has, <laughs> sorry, and the many wonderful influences this school has had on me have proven permanent. Once again, seniors, I enjoyed growing up with all of you and I look forward to seeing where life takes us in the future. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Sophie Crane. Congratulations, Sophie. When I think back on my high school career, my last two years, the ones spent at Anna Kappa, have been the best. Coming from a public school of 2,000 students where I seemed to slip between the cracks to a private school of 50 was a really big change, and I wasn't sure how I would adjust. But everyone here was so welcoming and kind. I've had so many amazing experiences here that would not be possible anywhere else. From our numerous field trips to our Friday afternoon activities and our amazing trips. I remember riding on the bus home from San Francisco last year and Joshua took out his guitar and started playing and everyone sang along and I thought to myself, these people are awesome. <laughs> we're like one big family here and we all get along so well even though we're so diverse. Anna Kappa has definitely helped to create the person I am today. It's made me much more outgoing and confident, which I know will help me later in life. Thank you, Gordon and Susie, for accepting me to Anna Kappa. Your school has helped me in so many ways. Teachers, your classes were so valuable, both educationally and socially. Brian, I wanna thank you. 
You helped me struggle through math, and you've been there to listen. Your guidance has helped me in so many ways, and I treasure the knowledge and advice you have given me, and I know I will use it throughout my life. I'll miss our talks during fifth period and SV trails. I also want to thank the friends I've made here. You have made these years the most memorable by far. Especially my senior class, you guys are great, and I love hanging out with you all. Gazal, you've gotten me through so much. And I can't imagine life without you. <laughs> I think we have proved the opposites do attract, and I will cherish your friendship forever. And I miss seeing you every day during college. Isaac, thanks for being such a great brother. If I didn't have you, <laughs> I don't know who else would torture me. <laughs> I know that at the time I screamed and threw a fit, but those are the moments I'll never forget. <laughs> I look up to you in many, wa many ways. You seem to have done everything right, and I hope to be as lucky as you. I can't wait to meet baby Marissa when she comes and spend time with you getting to know her. Naomi, thank you for always being there for me. Whatever it is, you're there to listen, and I'm so happy that you encouraged me to move to Colorado with you, and that you convinced me to go to college. I can't wait for all the adventures that, that are to come, and I know that living with you, Maggie and Mika, life will never be boring. And of course, I'm looking forward to some amazing dance parties. <laughs> Grandma, I have so many amazing memories with you, playing Barbies, making pottery in your studio, you have shaped the person that I am greatly, and I have so much respect for you. You've been there to support me in whatever I've done, and that means so much to me. Thank you to you and, thank you to you and Grandpa for making it possible for me to come to Anna Kappa and for supporting my dreams after high school. I will always cherish the time that we have spent together, and I love you so much. Dad, you are awesome. With all of the cool trips you go on and all of the interesting things that you do, Taking me on such cool trips have helped to make me the person I am today. I mean, teaching me to walk in the Sierras, most kids don't get that. You've always cared about what is going on in my life, whether it's who my new friends are or helping me through my homework. Sorry, it was such a struggle in elementary school. <laughs> I'm going to miss your quirky comments when I go away to college, but I will know I, get, I will get plenty of them when you visit me. Mom, you are the most important person in my life. I appreciate, I appreciate everything that you do for me. You understand everything I do, and even if you don't, you handle it calmly instead of freaking out. I think this is what our, makes our relationship so special. You have such unique talents and are so creative, and you always amaze me. Someday, I hope to be like you. Once again, I want to thank Gordon and Susie for the amazing experiences and opportunities your school has given me. I'm going to miss walking into 814 Santa Barbara Street every day and seeing everyone's smiling faces. Colin Lancashire. You made it, bro. You did it. You Six did years. It. I've been at Anna Kappa since seventh grade, so if you can't do the math, I've been at Anna Kappa for six years. I've enjoyed every single day of it. Even the darkest of days and the happiest of days, I've been through it all, and I have to say I've enjoyed absolutely every bit of it. I have so many memories here with both my classmates, other students, and faculty, and I have so many people to thank that three minutes could not justify anything that I'm about to say or anything that I, I truly feel. <sighs> to my graduating class, thank you so much. You all mean more than you could ever imagine to me. Every single one of you, I have a memory that I will take to the day I die. I mean, you guys are not like a second family, you are a second family to me. 
Now, to the faculty, thank you for dealing with me for six long, tough, agonizing years <laughs> that were very painful to you, but as you can see, it turned out pretty well. <laughs> um, a special thanks to Peggy, my teacher advisor, who has guided me since seventh grade and who has critiqued and reread and reread and reread so many of my essays and really pushed me through the whole college situation. Thank you so much. To Gordon and Susie, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. It means so much that you gave me a second chance and that I am up here on this stage today with the people I truly care about and to look on the faces of people who truly care about me. To my sister, well, through thick and thin, I love you so much. <laughs> just the other day, I, or just the other week, I saw you graduate from LMU, and now you're going into the real world as I step into my college years. <clears throat> to my dad, you're more than a father, you're my best friend. You mean so much to me. To my mother, you, you deal with me 24-7. And that, if that's not enough to you know, make you a saint, then I don't know what is. <laughs> you believe in me with all my crazy ideas when it comes to you know, school activities or just something I blow off the top of my head. You stick with me through thick and thin and you stay by my side. You're truly my biggest fan. And I love you for it. To my brother Chris, I hate to choose favorites, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you're my best friend in the whole entire world. I mean, if, if I had to choose between absolutely anyone else and you, I mean, sex for everyone else. <laughs> um, I remember when you were graduating, you told a story that you know, kind of embarrassed me, but it's so true. I'm lost without you, and whenever I need help, I know you're there for me. I love you so much. Now, to my grandparents who couldn't be here today, I know they're looking on from somewhere and they're probably very proud of me. My grandpa, a very strong Italian carpenter who, who really, really saw the good side in everyone. And I love you so much and I know that you'd be very proud right now. To my grandma, I love you so much. You have always been there through thick and thin to hit me with a spoon when I'm out of place. <laughs> and you, you will be missed and we will think about you forever and ever. You know, that reminds me of a story that when I used to play cards with my grandparents. And we'd play for pennies and we'd play blackjack. <laughs> now, I would always win and they wouldn't, they wouldn't know why I always won. But then it dawned on them one day that I was looking at their cards through their reading glasses. <laughs> And that's how I won so many games. <laughs> well, thank you all, and I love Anna Kappa so much. Thank you. Well, I, I know Colin and I have a lot in common. Uh, I didn't know it was having a grandmother chase you around the room with a wooden spoon. <laughs> Go ahead. Gazal. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> I can't see without my glasses. Friends, family, welcome to what could be one of the most important days in your loved one's lives. I know for my family and me, this day marks the end of something special, but the beginning of my future. It has now become evident to me that I'm graduating. This day has become real, and I've yet to grasp onto that. Thus, I'm getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm afraid that next year I won't be able to find the comfort I have found at Anna Kappa, and the thought of leaving everyone here behind and moving on to college scares me. I came to Anna Kappa as a young and shy freshman who was afraid of entering the tight community at Anna Kappa. But today, I stand in front of you as a confident and strong-willed young adult, and I would like to think, think that the this change only came from numerous years spent at Anna Kappa. 
You guys invited me in and gave me the encouragement to learn and to do well, something I don't think I would have experienced had I not walked through those gates four years ago. Anna Kappa taught me that what you choose to do with your time is a reflection of what you want to accomplish in life. Ultimately, you can achieve all your goals if you put your mind to it. Now, on to the thank yous. Mom, thank you for nagging me all throughout high school. Because of your constant concern, I reached levels that I don't think I would have reached if you weren't there telling me to do my homework. I would like to thank you for always supporting me and telling me that discouragement and hardship shouldn't bring me down. Rather, it should make me work harder. I am stronger now because of that. You have been a role model my whole life, and leaving you next year sounds surreal. The thought of you not driving me to school or hearing your laugh makes it that much harder to leave Santa Barbara, but I know it has to be done. I truly love you, and I'm sorry for putting you through such a stressful year. I know dealing with my mood swings was troublesome, but now that it's all over, I'm happy I dealt with this year with the mom as understanding as you. Daddy, what can I say? I call myself Daddy's little girl for a reason, and that is because we share a bond that I don't think you have with any of your other children. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to miss our conversations about the stock market, news, and life in general, as well as our fights over who gets the best and crunchy part of the race. <laughs> I'm also going to miss your attempts at lecturing me, even though we both know you don't have a nagging bone in your body. I love you for always supporting me and providing me with the opportunities that people only dream of. So thank you for just being here and encouraging me to do my best. Asali, my little chipmunk, you wanted me to cut you out of my speech, so I did. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's weird to think that you're the older sister because I feel like I'm the one who babies you all the time. I think of you as my best friend, someone I can call and dump all my worries on and get advice from. I love how we can just get each other and don't have to try to understand one another. You have played a significant role in my growth as a person, and when you left, I wasn't the same. But because of that, I learned how to grow by myself, and to you, I'm very grateful. If you weren't so hardworking and intelligent, I don't think I would have turned out as competitive as I did. <laughs> because of you as my role model, I became someone who took chances and never gave up when things didn't go my way. Thank you for being you, because you gave me the encouragement to be me. Faraz, although we fight more than we get along, I'd like to... I'd like you to know that you, too, are also a huge role model in my life. I envy that quality you possess and only wish to have an ounce of your personality. But not only that, you're another reason why I turned out the way I did. You are so hardworking and detailed that you made me want to perfect myself. You might not believe it, but I've looked up to you for some time now and will continue to do so. Thank you to the teachers and faculty who have gone through numerous obstacles with me. To my teachers, Peggy, thank you for helping me improve my writing and learn to love the world of literature. Brian and Rashid, you have both made math fun. And although I loved math before Anna Kappa, I loved math even more once I learned from you two. Susie, thank you for the four years you adopted me as your advisee. You saw me at my best and at my worst and always gave me support and the strength to continue. I don't know what I will do next year without you. Megan, I'm going to miss the random conversations and horrible puns you let us have in chemistry, as well as the laugh attacks during your book. Ugo, I'm going to miss your sense of humor and your positive attitude on life. Sharon and Elizabeth, thank you for everything that you do, from dealing with college stuff to random tasks. I truly appreciate all that you two have done for me over the past four years. Your kindness and generosity, generosity will never be forgotten. And last but not least, Gordon, Thank you for accepting me into Anna Kappa and for letting me in on the wonderful atmosphere you have created. I'm happy I've spent the last four years with the people whom I admire and respect. To my fellow senior class, together we have gone through numerous hardships as well as celebrated tons of accomplishments. I truly believe that the reason why we're so close is because we all have our own unique personalities that together make a force to be reckoned with. Just ask Gordon or any one of our teachers. Um, the thought of leaving them behind next year and entering an unknown world worries me, but I know that if I just return to 814 Santa Barbara Street, I will feel that security once more. I know you guys will leave here and go on to bigger and better things. Congratulations for your accomplishments, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. 
No one can tell you what the future holds, but I know that with the support and encouragement and friendship, you can surmount any hardships you are faced with. Thank you, Anna Kappa, for all of the above and more. I'm going to miss all the students, the classrooms, and the teachers as much as I'm going to miss my family next year. Thank you. Hannah Erickson. Congratulations, Hannah. Hi. <laughs> okay, well, um, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> I've been sitting in the audience here for the past five years, and now I'm the one giving the speech, which I can't believe. And, um, I've learned so much at Anna Kappa, not only academically, but also about myself and the real world, world around me. Since coming here in seventh grade, I have been aware of my growth socially and educationally. Experiences I've gotten to pursue here at Anna Kappa have enlightened me in so many ways. I cannot think of a better group to graduate with than my classmates. You guys are amazing, and um, it's really been a journey, and I'm so grateful that I went on that with you. Um, we're all so different, and I think that's why we make the class of 2012 the class of 2012. Brenda, Colin, and Haley have been with me the entire six years. You all mean so much to me, each in individual important ways, and I know you will all go so far with whatever you decide to do with the next steps in your lives. Um, my teachers have helped me overcome academic obstacles and have given me an amazing education. Each one of you has taught me something different I will take with me throughout my life. Sharon and Elizabeth, I don't see you, but I know you're out there. Um, you have also been such a great help with everything, especially college stuff. You both bring so much to the school. You're here so early and you go home so late. You truly care about each student and it shows. Thank you so much, Gordon and Susie. I love you guys, you're great. Um, you are the ones who truly made this experience possible for, possible for me. Gordon, you, has, you have always believed in me and my ability to succeed. And Susie, your attentiveness and love for the school and the students shows every day. You both make the school what it is. Gordon and Susie and the faculty have inspired me not to give up and to keep trying. And that I know is a, school, a skill that will be invaluable to my life. Um, friends in the audience, there's a lot of you, and I love you all. I can't believe you all came, and I'm just like, oh, can't even believe it. Uh, <laughs> you're amazing, and I love you all. Um, okay, well, I'm going to start with um, thanking my grandma, and um, you've just done so much for me, and I love you so much. You're truly my inspiration because you are the most um, loving and optimistic, generous person in my life. And you've been such an amazing, huge support for me um, throughout everything, ballet, school. And you're helping me get to Italy, which I really, really appreciate. Me, um, And we've just had, you live here and you're like my mom. Like, I can't even, I love you so much and you're just, Amazing. Having you live right up, th okay, never mind. I just kind of, not gonna read that. All right. <laughs> um, Papa, can you hear me? Can someone tell him what I'm saying if he can't hear me? <laughs> okay. Papa, you've um, also been a huge support in my life. I cannot thank you enough for always being there for my mom and I. You have always been there to pick me up from school, take me to ballet, take me to work, and the Elks Club with you for dinner. Even if we're having sauerkraut, I love going with you. Um, we've shared memories that I will never forget. You also always give me funny bits of advice. You sing like no one is listening, and you're able to find humor in even the worst situations. It's okay that you have CRS because you have me to back you up. I love you. Um, Kate, Dad, and Julie, thank you so well. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I love you all. Kate, you graduated from sixth grade, and I'm so proud of you. And Dad, 
I love you so much, and you've always been such a huge support in my life, and I'm so grateful to have you here tonight. Um, Joe, you've been such a trooper for the past seven years dealing with me. Um, but you did it. <laughs> and you've been always such a supportive, logical advocate for me. I really can't thank you enough. You're the one who inspired my move to San Francisco by taking my mom and I on trips there and um, really just showing me the ins, out, the ins and out of the city is really why I believe that I'm going to be there next year. And I can't even thank you enough. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, mom, you know me too well, and you've been my biggest supporter and advocate my entire life. You have yet to steer me wrong, and I know that you have always wanted the best for me, and I've gotten the best. You found Anna Kappa, and you made it happen for me. You knew it was the best for school for me, and apparently it was, because I've stayed here the entire six years. And although things haven't always been easy, I know that you will always love me, and I will always love you. Um, you're an amazing person, and you've made such selfless sacrifices for me. You're the most giving person I know, and you're truly my biggest inspiration, and I love you so much. Um, to wrap up my speech, I just want to say Anna Kappa has given me an education that I will never, that I could have never received anywhere else, and I've had more opportunities here that I'm truly appreciative of. Although not everything's ever been perfect or easy, I have lived and I've learned here, and I've made memories here that won't ever leave me. Congrats. Class of 2012, we did it. Grayson Bagellini. Congratulations, Grayson. So, I thought I'd begin with an interesting quote that I came across while writing this speech. It was that a, re a recent survey stated that the average person's greatest fear is having to give a speech in public. Somehow this was ranked even higher than death, which was third on the list. <laughs> and I have to say, right now, I kind of agree with that statistic. <laughs> in the past four years have been an incredible learning experience. I've met some people who have changed my life dramatically, and I've learned about life, about people, and about myself. This all began with my first day at Anacapa when I shadowed. And from that first day, I knew I wanted to go here. And also, I'd like to first off thank Gordon for accepting me into the school, because I know when he first interviewed me and we walked into the fireplace room, I sat down in the armchair, which is always his seat. <laughs> <laughs> what drew me into Anna Kappa was the friendliness of the faculty and the kindness of the students. Over these four years, I've learned how to manage my time, prepare for my assignments and my tests, and how to speak in public, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Four years ago, I never would have been able to give, get up and give, these spe and give this speech. It, public speaking always had terrified me. But I managed to learn how to communicate my ideas clearly and be able to get up and give a speech like this in front of family, friends, faculty, and everyone. Now to start with the thank yous. I could be up here for the next three hours thanking and saying something about everyone at Anacapa and everyone here. But I'll try and keep it short. And to all the faculty and staff, thank you for your dedication to your work and all the long nights you spend grading our papers. Thank you for putting up with us we are, when we are unruly and crazy, as I know we can will be. Thank you for helping us through our college application process and acceptances. I'd like to especially thank Gordon for writing my letter of recommendation, Peggy for reading and correcting my essays, even sometimes the day before they are due, and Sharon and Elizabeth for making sure I don't miss any deadlines and everything gets mailed out on time. To ANSEC, I have one of my biggest thank yous for giving me the opportunity to be part of this awesome project. 
Getting to be there and watch the launch was a breathtaking experience, and one that I'll never forget. To my fellow students, my friends, thank you for everything in these past few years. You've all supported me in my work, in my life, in my projects, even when I know it was hard to support me in them. And I'll never forget a single one of you. I don't think I ever could. I wish I could say something about every single person, every single one of my friends that have helped me over the past four years, but I'm too afraid of leaving someone out or going on too long, so. My biggest thank you goes to my family, every single one of you. You've all helped me more than I could ever say. Thank you to mom for helping. <laughs> Through everything, even though I know it's hard for you. Thank you to dad. For supporting me, even though I know it's hard. Going to a school far away and having to move down here. To my grandparents and everyone else in the audience, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Douglas True. Congratulations, Douglas. Uh, thus far, this graduation has been an absolute pleasure. It means nothing more to me to see um, my best friends achieving and succeeding and seeing their proud parents um, smile and be happy for them. Um, because, because of that success. So, as I began my speech um, I, with the thought that anything that I said would fail to adequately um, describe the pleasure of the past five years that I've spent here. Um, and I just knew it wouldn't be enough, but let's dive right in uh, anyway, because that's all you can do. Um, and I asked, asked myself as I was going in this, what is a graduation speech? What are, you, what are you meant to say? And do I really have anything worth saying? I'm only 17, not even a ad legal adult. But <laughs> um, can, I, can I actually have wisdom? Um, well, at the, at, at the end of my junior year, um, just a couple weeks before now, the time of last year, um, I had the pleasure of attending the eighth grade promotion. Um, first of all, I believe that everyone should you know, all go to promotion, because uh, as young as the kids are, um, their mouth speaks words, words that transcend their youth. Um, um, a very bright young woman um, reminded me of an important part of, of me that for a long time I feel that I had forgotten. Um, one aspect I feel of growing up is recalling your childhood. And in my opinion, this is also a big part of who you are, what you did when you were young and um, what helped make you. Um, so, Lottie, where are you? No, Lottie Johnson, yeah. So, she concluded her, um, concluded her speech um, with a quote that reminded me a, a lot of what I was like when I was young. So, it's a quote from A. A. Milne, um, from A Bear of Very Little Brain. If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day, so I never have to live one day without you. Miss Johnson knew at the time the most important thing um, that I had forgotten. Um, First Peter, um, chapter four, verse eight, says, above all else, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Thank you, Lottie, for reminding me that no matter what happens, if I keep my love to my God, family, and friends, all will be well. 
Attending Anna Kappa has been the great experience, experience in my life so far. Consequently, it has given me the chance to experience something equally wonderful at Pepperdine University, and for that, it's invaluable. Um, you know, my thank you list is long, but my, you know, my senior class, my parents, sister, grandparents, and aunts who are all here in attendance, and uh, thank you for all of you to, um, tonight for coming. Um, uh, leaving this uh, will be hard, but I, I know you'll always be with me. Um, uh, another quote um, I took the time to look up was um, also by A.A. Milne. Some people care too much. I think it's called love. Piglet. <laughs> Um, I think, so the day before I was feeling very, very strange and um, it was right after the trip and I was packing up some boxes with my friend Henry um, and at the time I told him um, that I had felt strange and he, he asked me, well, what felt strange and I, and I told him graduating, um, leaving, changing and I said this change felt weird. Henry, you're the other Johnston right there, yeah. Um, and he replied, well, you'll get used to it. <laughs> Once again, I was reminded of a simple truth that all change is weird, however, we can all adapt. Um, thank you, Mr. Johnston. You'll forever and always be my friend. Um, I didn't expect to get the Spirit of Anna Kappa Award, but so as I did, Gordon, I, sometime around 10th grade, I began to realize that whatever Anna Kappa was doing for me, I, there was no way I could repair it, repay it. And I feel that in a lot of ways, we're all blessed. Um, where we live, where we are, um, we're just incredibly blessed to be here. And there's really no way that we can repay that. And, you know, it, it is what it is. But Gordon, thank you for giving me the award. Because all I want, ever wanted to do was to help Anna Kappa, and I feel that maybe in some small way that I, I have. Um, um, finally, to my father, um, I, I, uh, I, shed, I shed tears writing this part, but um, um, a man is nothing without guidance. And I hope I've done all I can to honor you. Um, your example and your dedication, um, I prayed for the strength to say these words, but oh, man, I've, I just, I've never had to look further than you to find what is right. Um, leave, leaving your guidance will be difficult this, this summer, but um, thank you to all of you, and I love you. Isla. Congratulations, Ayla. For once in these shoes, I don't have to adjust the mic. It's wonderful. <laughs> Everyone has experienced a situation that proves time is vindictive. An example is when you're on a purposeful jog and the sweat is dripping from your elbows like they are from my hands right now, and your lungs are gasping for oxygen. Your face is as red as a sliced beet. You're sure your feet have been pounding pavement for at least a half hour. Yet when you expectantly check your watch, it retorts back matter-of-factly that you've been jogging for no more than five minutes. <laughs> this phenomenon can work in reverse. An innocent web search can pull you down into the cyberspace rabbit hole, and you'll not emerge from the internet for a couple of hours. How did this happen? You swear that someone has tricked you, and surely there's some force or entity other than yourself to blame. <sighs> Time's ability to speed and decelerate has made schoolwork more thrilling than it may have been otherwise. There's nothing threatening about a paper due three weeks from now, when time is moving along languidly and slowly. Then suddenly, two days before the assignment is due, time slams its heavy heel into the accelerator. Panic ensues, and I spend an unreasonable amount of my precious vaporizing time trying to rationalize plots to avoid teacherly persecution. <laughs> In this situation, my parents were always wonderful, humoring the imagined intensity of the night, but also offering hugs and sympathy. Their approach is a reflection of their parenting style. While mom and dad are dependable and comforting, they're also strong enough to let me make my own mistakes and subsequent discoveries. During such a desperate school night, 
My brother was the only person who might have been able to fish a wan smile out of the depths of my angst. Helic has an incomparable ability, and he's not here right now, he's in um, Santa Cruz finishing, finishing up the year, but has an incomparable ability in understanding my sense of humor and will therefore always be my closest friend. Mama, Daddy, and my beloved extended family, I especially want to thank you for your tremendous trust and support when the going got particularly rough. As a perfectionist high schooler, who in a cruel twist of fate is also quite prone to inertia, the significance of each of these all-nighter projects was unbearable. For if I got a poor grade on the science essay on polar bears, I'd sink my grade in science, which would lower my GPA, which would destroy college aspirations and thus my entire future. <laughs> In retrospect, I'm amazed at how teachers could work with my irrational fear and the resulting semi-paralysis with such facility. Every teacher I've worked with at Anna Kappa has known how to at once comfort and develop me as a student. I cannot justly articulate how fulfilling it has been to go to a high school where the teachers educate with such care and learning is so individualized. The people who run the school are all extraordinary educators and administrators. I'd like to thank the entire staff, through your daily example, I'm reminded to live with dedication and passion and to try my hardest in any and all of my endeavors. In all honesty, time's not at fault. It's human tendency to live in retrospect or anticipation and not in the present. Through Anna Kappa School, I now recognize the merit of living in the moment. Every moment growing up in this community was precious and worth saving. Thank you. Haley. Congratulations, Haley. Ah, this is gonna be a roller coaster of emotion, so buckle your seatbelts. <clears throat> okay. I apologize. Um, for the last six years, Anna Kappa has been a home for me. Oh my god, there it goes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gordon, Susie, and the rest of the faculty have provided me with an amazing education and the best memories a girl can get. <laughs> or ask for, sorry. I can't see him. <laughs> Anna Kappa has been a place of comfort ever since the first day of seventh grade, and I want to thank everyone in this school for going along with my weirdness. Whether it was taking part in my Friday fun days last year or having to listen to me belt out country songs up and down the hallway every day, I want to thank you. My classes at Anna Kappa have been filled with hard work and laughter. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I can do this. In, uh, in science class, I have gone from B. Ornstad to J. Mo to Megan. Megan, thank you for being the perfect blend of a funny, hipster, smart, and awesome teacher. Thanks for always going along with my stupid jokes, no matter how bad they are. And thank you for letting us do experiments with s'mores. <laughs> to my Spanish classes, thank you mucho, Oogie Moogie. <laughs> Where are you? Hugo. Um, thank you for every childhood story, every Christmas song, and every life, le life lesson you have taught me. Thank you for asking for taking me into the school band in 10th grade and allowing us to do songs that we want to. Not to mention my Spanish. Gracias por todo, Hugo. <laughs> Brian, I want to thank you for being an amazing teacher and a great friend. It has never ceased to amaze me how patient you are with every student, including myself. You have been a great role model and friend to me and have always been there to listen. I will always cherish the memory of you letting Brenda and I hop in the back of your truck and ride up the dirt road blasting country music. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, to one of the most important classes to me, performing arts. To every Anna Kappa Theater kid from the cast of Lucky Stiff to Carnival, thank you for giving me some of the best memories from school. I have loved every long after-school rehearsal, every move into the theater, every awkward costume change, and every inside joke about Brad. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you to my theater teacher and advisor, Sally, for every keychain, every key change, every bad grade, and every audition. Sally, you have always been on my side no matter what, and I thank you for that. There is a special bond when doing a show with every cast, and I have loved you all. To my friends, Cassidy, Matthew, Amelia, Heather, and Shayna, from those weekends bowling to playing categories at Matthew's house, I have had the most fun this year with you guys and all the other years combined. Cassidy, you are like a little sister to me. Um, I have known you since you were in kindergarten, and I have had some of my most funnest times with you. I have had the best time with you in Sacramento, from complaining about the movies with you, to sitting with you in the front of the boat while river rafting. You are the funnest person I know. I want to appreciate you for always being my mini-me. To all my other Anna Cappers out there, I love you guys so much, and I wish I could put you all in my pocket and take you with me next year. To my class, the seniors, I love you all. Because of your creativity, brains, leadership, and charisma, you guys have been such a blast all year. And although our classes changed several times in seventh grade, what we ended with was beyond perfect, although we all do miss Sebastian. <laughs> To my fellow seniors with seniority, Brenda, Colin, and Hannah, we have been through everything together from Bjornstad to Bobo. We truly have had some marvelous times. To my family, grandma and grandpa, thank you first for coming tonight and thank you for the best childhood memories a kid could ask for. From days at the harbors to weeks in Oatman, thank you for supporting me through everything and for teaching me how to shoot a gun. <laughs> To my dad, thank you for every Easter egg hunt when you'd point at an egg so I'd get it before Dylan. <laughs> it's the little things that count. <laughs> and for every concert you have taken me to, thank you for always having my back. To my mom, thank you for being my best friend. <laughs> From our trips to Ventura to Austin, Texas, <laughs> Thank you for constantly working your butt off to provide for us and for spoiling me to death. <laughs> Dylan, you have been my hero ever since I was born. You're the best role model a little sister could have. From those times when you stuck your socks in my mouth <laughs> to every drive through with Ma and every improv show. Thanks for being as cool as you are. I am always honored to say, yep, that's my big brother. <laughs> Um, I want to end with something Susie said at our last appreciation night in Sacramento just the other day, that no matter what happens to you, whether you graduate after six years, um, come to school in the middle of the year, or decide to leave, you're always going to have Anna Kappa memories and you will always be an Islander. So as I graduate and move forward, I will leave you with this. Go Islanders. <laughs> Brenda. Congratulations, Brenda. I love you. Hello. Okay, one second. It's the last one, so. <laughs> okay. Being at Anna Kappa has been such a unique and life-changing opportunity for someone like me. I remember coming from Cleveland Elementary School as a shy and boring little girl who was terrified of private schools like because I thought we had to wear uniforms. <laughs> um, thank God that wasn't true. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. I had a really tough beginning at Anna Kappa, but I slowly opened up and I felt more comfortable around my classmates and teachers. Now, six years later, I know all of you just can't wait for me to shut up. <laughs> um, that's one thing about Anna Kappa that I've always appreciated and will never forget. The environment at Anna Kappa is so welcoming and the people are so nice. We're all so incredibly different, but still we find that we can somehow relate to each other, to each and every student or teacher, and always have a good time. For example, who remembers Death Valley? Is there any other school or group of students with whom you could tarp it in a giant bush hiding from 60 mile per hour winds in the middle of a desert? I really don't think so. 
Anna Kappa has prepared me for an amazing future. I know the teachers might be a little skeptical about that, but I feel very confident and excited for what the future may bring. On that note, I would sincerely like to praise the faculty and thank you guys very, very much for everything you've done and all the time you've taken to help me through high school. Thank you so much for putting up with my unorganization and non-existent volume control. Oogie Boogie, you're the bestest advisor, and Brian, you make school worthwhile. <laughs> I love you guys. I'd also like to thank Zinia and the Gonzalez family um, for taking me in or letting me in and feeding me and giving me a place to stay whenever I felt like it. Um, you guys are like my second family and I love you all. Uh, oh, hold on. Crap. <laughs> um, Danny and Jessica, you two are the best and craziest and most annoying siblings in the entire universe. But the Lord knows I can't live without you guys. The relationship and the connection we have is amazing, and I honestly don't know how I'm going to live without you for the next a couple of years. Gordon, you big bambino, I'm sorry about our senior prank for how much trouble I've put you through these past six years, but you know that I love you with all of my heart, and I do it all out of love and good fun. Thank you for everything you've done for my class, for my class and I. Susie, sei la professoressa più bella e più importante per me. Susie, I know we clash sometimes, but I can't explain to you how much I cherish those little fights and everything we do together. You've shown me so much, from cooking to painting and simply being a good, responsible human being, you are my role model. I hope that one day I could be as beautiful, strong, independent, and loving as you. Ti voglio bene. <laughs> Julio, we've had our ups and downs, and we've been through a lot these past five years. But no matter what happens from here on, you are, have been, and always will be my true love and my bestest friend. I'll miss you so much. I lost a dollar. <laughs> and to the most important person in my entire life, my mommy. Mommy, tú sabes que aunque peleamos, nos gritamos y nunca guarda la ropa, te amo muchísimo. Tú eres la persona más importante en toda mi vida. Siempre te amaré hasta que las estrellas hagan pescados. Mom, you're the most important person in my life. You gave up so much for my education and my future, and you've been through so much. You're the strongest person I know, and I, and I hope to grow to be just as strong and resilient as you are. I can't imagine moving on to college or anything without you by my side. I'll miss you so much. I'm extremely grateful to have had the opportunity to be a part of such an amazing group of students, teachers, and friends. Thank you, Gordon, and the rest of the faculty for always believing in me and pushing me to do my best. I will always cherish the memories and great times I've had throughout my incredible journey these last six years. Most importantly, I will never, ever forget those people who have been so influential and important in my life. I'll miss all of you so much. Chico and anywhere else in the world will never be as special without any of you. Thanks. You made it. They were wonderful speeches. Congratulations to the class of 2012.